Okay, I wanted to show you something I've been working on. I'm, I'm making a new uh, body for the Traxxas Slash. I'm going to do the Baja Bug. And i um, in the middle of the masking process now. So we'll, I've already trimmed it a little bit for working with it. I've washed it, the inside. You wash it with soap and water. And then you let it dry out. And then I mask the windows using the stickers that came with it. Um, and uh, now I'm working on the masking. So I've masked off the engine bay. I think I'm going to do it black or maybe silver. And, uh, and I'm working on my masking off the markings that I made. The exterior of these shells is covered in a film. So you can draw on it, make out your pattern, decide what you want to do for colors or whatever you're going to do. And, um, and then you can follow your lines when you start masking. I have some tips and tricks that I do. So when you work with the masks, you can put place them a bunch of times over and over as many times as you like. I mean, the less times that takes, the better. But really work with it till you're happy with it, till it matches all the lines exactly. Because once you add paint, it's noticeable if you're way outside the creases that are in the Lexan. And um, burnishing. Burnishing is a key prep item to make sure that you don't get bleed through through your masking tape. Just because it looks bad when, after you paint, if you get bleed through your edges, it's, uh, it's all jaggedy and looks bad. It's better if you get a really nice crisp line between colors. Anyway, burnishing. Uh, burnishing is burnishing all the edges down. They do sell burnishing tools, but to be honest, you know, just using a fingernail is pretty darn effective. And uh, so after you lay down your masking, or even if you're doing a long strip like I'm doing, um, you burnish down as you go, so cover it. You got to get in all the creases, right? All the body lines. So you got to keep burnishing it down in as you go. You want to go around the windows. You just want to kind of follow the lines as you go to make sure that you're not going to get any crazy bleed through. So it's good to get a little section to how you like it and then plant it down and then keep moving on. So I'm way off my line now, so I have to readjust. So that's what I was having an issue with, is uh, doing a long strip like this. So I'm gonna keep working with it, and then I'll show you when it's done. So I have to peel it back and get it over. I need to be way over here, or even more, and then start working it down. The thing I found as a helpful tip is to, uh, to make a little loop like this. Just stick yourself down the tail so it stays in place, and then work with a stuck down loop and, and work your way around everything, and just try and stay lined in on your lines. Okay, here's the body that I've masked, and uh, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. So I've burnished down all the edges, every single edge I've burnished down over and over. Um, got a nice crisp edge, on, fairly centered. I made sure that I kept to my what I wanted to do, which was I wanted to make sure I covered, just touched the top corner of this window, and kind of come down mid door, and I've done it on this side, and I've done it on this side. top of the window, come down the door. It looks looks really nice. And uh, I masked off the engine bay and um, the windows. And so now the next step will be uh, mask off a large portion of a color. So this is a stripe that's going to be a different color than both of these sides. You know, I have to decide if you want to start dark first, light first, what you're doing, where, where your colors are going to go and then mask off a large section. So if I masked off this side, I could paint this side. There will be multiple coats. You gotta plan out what you're doing. We're pretty much there. We'll just uh, choose where I'm gonna start, cover up a big portion, and then I'll uh, pick up you guys again when we start painting. Okay, I'm in the garage now, and uh, here's, here's the final mask. So newspaper works really well. Just uh, you can cover a large area with newspaper. Just make sure that all the edges and any overlaps are perfectly sealed and you won't have any problems. We're ready for paint. I also gave the area that I'm going to paint a just a quick little clean water wipe. The least contaminants, the better. Let's start. The more upright you can be directly spraying on your subject, the better. When you spray, you always be moving. Always moving when you spray. It should turn out well, because this is a fairly transparent paint. 
and then I'm going to coat the back with it with black and it'll be a purple to black fade to the front. The front half of the car will be purple to black. That's the plan. Okay, here we are so far. All these motorcycles. Black to purple fade. It's pretty much done. I think it's been about an hour or two. I've been letting it bake in the sun because I'm trying to go fast. I'm trying to get this all done in one day. Have it done to take to a uh, Volkswagen car show tomorrow. And then I'm now ready to paint the back. So I just put my grubby hands all over it. I'll give it another wipe down. And uh, yeah, shoot some of the next color. point the uh, black, purple, and orange is done. That's how it looks now. It'll look a lot better once I trim it and clean it up. Orange, silver stripe, a black fade to purple and I think it turned out pretty darn well and I did the engine in silver too and the masking turned out really good I'm quite happy with the masking not too much bleed almost none really um, very very good so now I'm working on the uh, just peeling back okay and here it is with the coating off so I did a black fade to purple orange on the rear and silver stripe and a silver motor and then I back coated the whole thing in silver for one day's, honestly one afternoon's worth of effort, I think it turned out very well. There's only a couple of little areas where it bled through and they're never perfect. I've yet to have one that is totally perfect. So no big deal. I'm quite happy with that. And, uh, also having the silver on the back end has added like a more, even more of a metallic finish to the black. It's, it's, very, it's really nice looking. I'm, I like it a lot. So now I have these uh, stickers to add. It came with a bunch of uh, Volkswagen and Proline stickers, as well as I also made the wing for it. I did paint the wing. I made the wing black to match the front. It's done. I did this all in one day, about nine to 10 hours labor um, between the prepping, masking, washing, painting, cutting, trimming, everything, waiting for coats. I am very, very happy with this for, for, you know, one day's worth of effort. People will really get a kick out of this at the Volkswagen car show tomorrow. So I push myself to get it done. I'm very happy with it. There's a couple of things that I might want to fix up later on, like the, the body is touching the Nerf bars. I remember reading that you're supposed to take off the Nerf bars and you're also supposed to take off the rear bumper for this body, but I chose not to. And I am still using the stock body positioning. I just bent this out. It has enough give that you can fit it on. And then the only, probably the most interfering thing is this catching on the on the nerf bar so I could notch it out anyway um, I, I only put a couple of stickers on I like to have just a little bit of stickers not not go overboard on them so the front end is all clean except for the headlights I have a pro line Baja the door handle VW symbol Traxxas and there's a Traxxas on the rear and then the engine detailing and I'm happy with how the engine detail came out too couple of tools that you are going to want to have if you do body work is curved Lexan scissors. Very important to have that for trimming around all of the wheel wells and everything to cut the bodies out. And um, to do the holes for the pins, I had to make holes here, here, and then the wing. Oh yeah, and the wing, the wing on this body is a real pain in the butt. So there's, you got to do four screws through the wing, through the body, and then there's these little plastic nuts. And they're so close to each other, it's very hard to hold on to them. Show you this. This is a... This one's made by Lozy, but this is a body reamer. Hole reaming tool. And uh, it has a very sharp point on it. And you just press it up against where you want to start your hole, and you start rotating. And you just rotate it around, and it makes the hole bigger and bigger and bigger, and it has a little gauge on it, too. And it's, it's really handy you can make holes very precise and very fast with this. 